here in this video we will see the problem on temperature stress and strain here is a question whatever is given here we can write that in the form of data steel rod 4.5 meter long length is given so it is 4500 mm is at a temperature of 28 degree celsius initial temperature Find the free expansion of the rod when the temperature is raised to 78 degrees Celsius. So the temperature is raised to 78 degrees Celsius and for that we have to find out free expansion delta L. Next, if this expansion is completely prevented, find the magnitude and direction of temperature stress and strain. So after this the next question is we have to find out the temperature strain and temperature stress for steel take Young's modulus 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square and alpha 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 per degree Celsius so this much is the data which is given to us now with the help of this data let us try to find the solution to this problem now it is given that there is a steel rod which is being heated so I can draw the diagram to explain it in a more better way here this is a steel rod whose original length is L now this rod is being heated So we are providing heat to this rod and when the heat is provided as it is made up of steel it is a metal so it will expand. So here the rod will freely expand by this much amount. So this indicates the free expansion of the rod denoted by delta L. Next we have to calculate how much is the free expansion. So first I'll say that since the metal rod is being heated from 28 degrees Celsius to 78 degrees Celsius. So therefore the steel rod is free to expand and hence free expansion is given by the formula is delta L is equal to alpha into delta T into L so therefore I'll put the values delta L is equal to alpha is given it is 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 this is the value of coefficient of thermal expansion or contraction for steel so it is 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 per degree celsius next delta t it is given that the temperature is raised from 28 to 78 so here i have the temperature change as 78 minus 28 that is final minus initial temperature into the length length is given as 4500 mm so from this I'll get the first value that is free expansion and my answer is 2.7 mm the first answer now after getting the free expansion the next question is we have to calculate the thermal strain or temperature strain so I'll say that since temperature strain is given by strain is equal to change in length upon original length so therefore strain is equal to change in length is 2.7 original length is 4500 mm so from this I'll get the value 
of thermal strain my answer is 6 into 10 raised to minus 4 this is the second answer next they are asking to calculate the thermal stress now for that let me explain that thermal strain how it would be developed if we are stopping this free expansion free expansion is by delta L and suppose we are stopping this by having a wall so that can be explained with a diagram that here is the metal rod and after it has been heated it will expand freely this is the free expansion its original length was capital L now if we are stopping this free expansion by suppose having a wall here so because of this wall present the free expansion is prevented and hence stress will be developed in the metal rod which is made up of steel and that stress is called as temperature stress so therefore temperature stress is given by sigma is equal to stress into Young's modulus so therefore sigma is equal to strain is 6 into 10 raised to minus 4 and the Young's modulus value is given in the problem 2 into 10 raised to 5 so from this I will be getting my stress value as 120 Newton per mm square and this will be the third answer now if we talk about the nature of stress induced then when this metal rod was expanding freely no stress was developed once we have a wall here there is a force acting from the wall and because of that there is compression of this metal rod so I can say that therefore nature of stress developed in the metal rod which is made up of steel will be compressive stress so here if we look into this problem there were three things or three unknown values which we had to calculate first was deflection which was the free expansion the value is 2.7 mm next thing was the, the thermal strain and that value is 6 into 10 raised to minus 4 and the last part was the thermal stress which is 120 newton per mm square and once we have calculated all these unknown values we can say that the problem is completed